calling all student teachers, especially science teachers. Do you want to give the best learning experience for your students? Well, today we have an exclusive edition of EduLife. We are at the TELUS World of Science. As you can see, I am all geared up in my lab coat and goggles. And today we have the lovely Kelsey Armstrong. She's the director of school programs at the TELUS World of Science Edmonton. And she's here to talk to us about field trips. So Kelsey, thank you so much for being on our show. You're very welcome. So first and foremost, we know that TELUS World of Science Edmonton is a huge hotspot for field trips in and around Edmonton. So what is exactly the process of field trips? I know as student teachers, that's one big question on our head when we're going into our practicum. Absolutely. There's three basic steps to booking here. First step is to figure out what you'd like to book. So what items you'd like to, to come and see. And you can use our website or our calendar guide for that. Mm -hmm. Second step would be to call or use our online request form mm -hmm. and to figure out what date ranges that you're coming for or can come for. So we can't always accommodate the very first date so having multiple dates helps us to fit you in with what you'd like to do and the last step is to figure out your transition so are you gonna be here for lunch do you need a lunch room all of those kinds of things while you're here you're gonna visit the gift shop that kind of thing and how much does it cost so we have very affordable prices here um, and you can check our website for all of the current prices. The unique thing about the Science Center here is that we don't charge schools general admission. So we actually charge them for each item that they come for. So if you're doing an IMAX or programming, that's where your pricing is going to come in. That is amazing. And how far in advance do we need to book? You're going to want to book at least four to six weeks in advance, but we do recommend the, more, the sooner that you can book, the better. Uh, we do fill up quite quickly. And if you want to get especially a, a date or certain programs in mind, you're going to want to book as early as you can. Definitely four to six weeks, though. And as director, how, what is the value um, of coming to the TELUS World of Science Edmonton for both the teacher and the student? Mm -hmm, absolutely. So here at the Science Center, uh, we are able to take what you do in the formal learning center or, or environment, and we're able to make it really come alive here. So we can do really large things. We can do really cool things here. So we connect to the curriculum directly, but we're able to go kind of beyond and show some really unique experiments and concepts and ideas. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the, the skills that our students need to be successful in the century. Uh, we're looking at the skills that we really value here, so the problem solving, scientific skills, and lifelong learning. So we really do connect to what teachers want their students to become. And speaking of careers, I heard that you guys hire teachers. Could you talk a little bit about that? That's very exciting. Absolutely. So our school programs here at the TELUS World Science, even though we're in formal uh, learning environment, we only hire teachers in our school programs department. So when you come for your program or your interpretive uh, demos, then you're going to have a teacher working there as well. We also often hire your teachers for camps, summer camps as well. And you are legit, you have a BSc and a BED. That is amazing. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> and could you walk us through a quick summary of a typical field trip experience if you were to take your kids here? Absolutely. So once again, that's going to vary depending on what it is that you're booking. Yes. Uh, but I can go through the different items and just tell you a little bit about each one. That would be amazing. Okay. So we have interpretive programs, which is where we actually take you into our learning centers. Mm -hmm. And we have an instructor lead you through a program. They're very hands-on. They connect directly to the curriculum. And they're, they're items items or things that we do in, the, in these programs that are hard to do in the classroom, either hard to get the material or uh, uh, different um, activities that you're doing. And we do uh, interpretive programs from K to nine. Amazing. So grade K to nine. Um, and then we also do science demonstrations on our demo stage. I've seen one. It is amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so these are the big science concepts that we want to get out right. uh, where we need a uh, large space we're doing fire explosions that <laughs> kind of thing with your students and so uh, because of that we need uh, a really really large demo stage and so we, we usually can accommodate up to about 100 kids in that space then we also have our um, galleries so as you go through our building we have four permanent galleries for for students as well as our discovery land Ooh. and then we have two traveling exhibit galleries as well so they also have currently we have how to make a monster and Harry Potter the exhibition so we have a lot of space for <laughs> for <laughs> students uh, to come in and just check things out as well and then the last two things we have is our, th our two theaters so we have our IMAX theater which is actually just reopened as of December 26th and I've seen the new theater holy moly the screen is huge mm -hmm. largest one in Alberta and we do have 3D capability uh, now as well. And so students can come in and do 3D uh, films as well as 2D films. We have 16 films in our teacher library or our school programs library. So we have a lot of films to choose from that can connect to what you're doing directly in class as well. And then the last space we have is actually our Margaret Zeller Star Theater. Yeah. 
And this is, yeah, this is the full dome theater uh, where you get immersed in what you're doing. And uh, we mostly specialize in space, but we do have other topics up there as well, where you sit back in the comfy chair and enjoy uh, moving through the universe. Well, Kelsey, what are some exciting exhibits or any events that are happening at the Telus World of Science in the future? Good question. Things are always changing here. For IMAX, we have a new film called Jerusalem right now, and it's doing amazing in Edmonton. We're the number one city in the world right now, including London and Paris. I would definitely recommend coming to see it. We also have some feature exhibits right now, How to Make a Monster in Harry Potter. These are our spring exhibits, so they'll be ending early spring. Then for our summer exhibit this year, we have Connects Thrill Rides, as well as Rescue uh, Wildlife. So two different ones coming together. And then in the fall, we have Indiana Jones and the Adventure of Archaeology is opening on October 10th. Mm -hmm. So it's a very busy lineup, but for school programs, we also have exciting events that we have coming up throughout the year. Uh, these events are called Real People, Real Science, where we bring in the community into the Science Centre to connect with students. Uh, we have events such as Math Fest, where we bring in up to 1,400 students to come and do a math day here. We also have ChemFest, we have different uh, things to connect to our human body. It's amazing the science that goes on in Edmonton and we're in a position to actually connect students with those scientific researchers. And so we have amazing days that come out throughout the year. Uh, we currently have uh, coming up Pi Day which wow. is uh, in point. March, <laughs> that's right, that's right. So it's another circular mathematics day coming up in March. So uh, those happen about once a month and we have a lot of exciting ones coming up that you can see on our website. Well, I am blown away by the Telus World of Science Edmonton. You must be blown away. Amazing, Kelsey. And last but not least, last question of the day, where can we get more contact information if you want to book a field trip or just want more information? So our website is the best place to go. Our website will have all of the information for you. You, could, of course, can always call or email us as well. Um, we, we deal with teachers all the time, uh, <laughs> trying to help them figure out what they'd like to do when they come, what can they fit in, all of those kinds of things. Uh, but our website would have all of the information for sure. Well, thank you so much, Kelsey. I'm going to have a wonderful time at the Taos World of Science. Definitely check us out. Um, it's amazing. Thank you so much, Kelsey, once again. You're very welcome. Thanks for being here.